Uh oh, it seems like that Destiny 2, along with Bungie, look to copy the success of another franchise, which is Fortnite. What? Hey, let's get into this one. What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? It's your boy, MM2K, back again from hiatus with another one. Still with a little slight cold, as you can hear, but I'm getting over it. You know what I'm saying? With that said, glad to be back. But can y'all do me a huge favor on my return? Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up because you know the deal, even when I'm sick. I'm not too proud to ask. Let's get into it. All right, so you heard it right. Destiny 2 is now looking to copy a core element from the franchise Fortnite in order to see success with some of its latest expansions and things of that nature, okay? So here's the backdrop. Destiny 2 is doing a soft reboot for any of you that have been living under a rock. And Shadow Keep the forthcoming expansion at the time of this recording is all going to is all part of that effort to kick off this soft reboot all right shadow keep is to also help introduce some more uh, rpg elements to the franchise despite these welcome additions many wonder will this what, what will they provide as the gameplay loop that will attract the millions of new gamers that bungie seeks for the franchise and it appears to answer that question, Bungie went with the motto, success mimics success. So what am I babbling and talking about? Well, this is all according to a Forbes magazine uh, or Forbes online magazine report that says Destiny 2 is getting a season rank. Okay, let me, let me show this to y'all. So it says Destiny 2 is getting a season rank battle pass and it actually sounds like a good idea. All right, so the article goes to explain that it isn't called a battle pass, confusingly. It's called the season rank system, and there is a free track and a premium track. So if you buy that season, like in Fortnite, you know how every time they have new stuff to drop and new um, cosmetics and weapons and stuff like that, or whatever the case may be, when at a specific period, whenever that happens, and you buy that season, it's gonna be $10. Destiny now will be selling seasons individually rather than grouping them all in an annual pass. The first season, Season of the Undying, comes with Shadow Keep. So this whole Shadow Keep expansion, if you bought it in bulk, you bought like three seasons, I, I believe. Um, comes with Shadow Keep if you buy that and doesn't cost extra on top of it. The next three will be sold separately. The free track is something any player can get, even <coughs> excuse me, even if they're playing the free to play new light content and haven't bought a piece of DLC or any season. So just to give you an example of how it's supposed to work, if you buy the free track, um, if you buy it, then you get the exotic hand cannon, three legendary sets of vex armor two legendary weapons a best of year two bright enneagram and blah 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 but you can earn it too like in fortnite if you earn it no i'm sorry that's if the free track is you, you get that but if you buy it this is what you get you get all you see all these extra goodies that you get so again just to recap what i said and to, and to be more clear the free track meaning if you earn it without purchasing it during the new seasons this is everything that you get exotic hand cannon three legendary suits of vex armor whatever and you got to get all this stuff at like rank 35 rank 25 you got to work your way towards uh certain levels in order to get that stuff for the premium track as soon as you buy it at rank one this is the stuff that you get exotic hand cannon you get the vex armor you get the legendary weapons and all this other stuff so of course what they're trying to do as it appears is to promote you to buy it if you want it easily but if you're willing to work for it go ahead and work for it you know what i'm saying um and here's my thoughts because you know what's gonna happen right <laughs> you know what's gonna happen the community is going to go crazy and that's why forbes dropped this in the wee bits of the night while people were waiting for the gears five reviews to come through you know what i'm saying but your boy mm2k caught it even though he's sick 
hacking and coughing everywhere. So here's my thoughts. If you've been following my material, I don't care about loot boxes, as long as they're not heavy handed. I told you guys when Mass Effect 3 was out, I even paid for some of those loot boxes and, and I had swore to myself I would never do that, but it wasn't too heavy handed. <coughs> I just wonder how the public, with its anger, will react though, as I said earlier. This Fortnite model seems like a successful one, even though I don't care for Fortnite. I can't stand the damn game, but that's me. And it's one that forces though, even though I don't like the core game, it's one that forces continuous content. So if you apply something that's forcing continuous content and you're applying it to a game that has a good base to it, that has good gunplay and all that good stuff, I, my thoughts is, just let it ride. Let's see how it works. Destiny at the core is a great game. I'm getting back into it myself. So if they can create a firm, stable, reliable add-ons periodically, it would help it become the franchise that we all hope for from the beginning. And that's it from your boy MM2K. Hey, let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below. Hacking coffin and all. <laughs> I thank y'all for bearing with me. You know what I'm saying? Because who cares what I think? But if you did like what I had to say, check me out on the corner of the boulevard by, the click, by clicking the links below, all right? Yo, I do a show with your peoples. Snow Bunny, Neethals, their Griggity, it's called Scrampox. We do it every Wednesday, 8, uh, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but we're looking to, to, to change that time slot, so stay tuned. Just look up hashtag Scrampox, all right? Yo, I rock out with the broadband bullies, my brethren, man. We be cutting it up. And it's all jokes, baby. Yo, check us out on that Discord. Check out that Patreon. Check out that gear because it's fly. And last but not least, we are bringing it back. The Hard Knock Digital Culture. You know what I'm saying? We got a dope new intro for the NRO podcast. We got some game streams. We got a lot of stuff coming. You know what I'm saying? A lot of good surprises for y'all. Stay tuned. Check me out on twitch.tv forward slash mighty most 2000. Or you can go to the official website, which is H ndc.live for content that's it you guys have a wonderful wonderful gaming day peace